This section's on 2.1 limits graphically. So we're going to do a little bit differently from yesterday's homework. We're actually going to look at things graphically. So let's go ahead and get started. It says finding the limit. So when we're finding the limits, we're going to find the limit as C approaching to a number. And in this case, we've actually seen this function right here from pre-calculus. But in this case, in calculus, we're going to add a plus sign right here. So a plus sign means we're actually looking from the right-hand side of C. So whatever that x value is on this right-hand side of it, we're going to look for is the y value, if you remember in pre-calculus. Okay? So the opposite direction is the limit as x approaches to C from the negative, and the negative is from the left-hand side, so we're going to read from the left side or the left value of C. The opposite then of that is then the limit as x approaches just the C by itself. So notice there's no plus or minus. If there is no plus or minus, you're going to have to read off of the values of the y from here and also here as well. Now if the y's match right here, then you're going to have a value, whatever that value may be. But if the y's do not match, then the limit does not exist at that point of C right there. Okay, so let's try example number one. Example number one says the finding the limits of f of x at x cubed minus one all over x minus two. And if you remember from last year in pre-calculus, we drew this graph out. It was a rational function. And if you have a denominator, we always set the denominator equal to zero to solve for the vertical asymptote, which is a VA. So here we are. Here's our function right here. At two right here, there's a vertical asymptote right there. And we have the left side of that function, and we also have the right side of the function. So the first question is asking us to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the right-hand side. So right-hand side, we're coming from the right-hand side of 2. There's, a look, again, that vertical asymptote of 2 right there. Right-hand side of that 2, it's this function right here that we're looking at. So we're following this function right here. We're following approaching, approaching 2, approaching, approaching 2. But then it goes up here and it shoots up right here. And again, the y value is what we're looking at this right here. So the y value in this case is positive infinity. Now if we try the limit as x approaches 2 from the left-hand side on the negative right here, we're taking this graph on the left-hand side of this 2 right here. Again, that 2, imaginary 2, left-hand side would be everything on this side. So we're taking this function, we're approaching, 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 but then it shoots downwards, right? So the y value will be then negative infinity. Now, what about the limit as x approaches to 2, just 2 by itself? If it's 2 by itself, we're looking for the left-hand side and the right-hand side value of the y's to determine if the limit does exist. So we said on the right-hand side of 2 right here, right-hand side, the y value is positive infinity. The left-hand side of 2, we said the y value is negative infinity. So at this point, the limit as x approaches to 2, the limit does not exist. Okay, now let's try another one. So given this right here, this is not a written function, it's just some kind of graph right here, we're going to read this graph. The first part is asking us to find the limit as x approaches to 1 from the left-hand side. So 1 on the left-hand side would have to be either this function or this function right here. Obviously it's this function because that's the left side, right? So the left side of this, I'm going approaching, approaching, approaching to the 1, and approaching, approaching, the y value is 0. What about the limit as x approaches to 1 from the right-hand side? So right-hand side would be this function right here. We're approaching, approaching, approaching to 1, and the y value is positive 1. But the limit as x approaches to positive 1 right here, right? I'm sorry, uh, 1 by itself, there is no left or right. So I have to look at the left and I look at the right and see if the limit does exist. If the limit does exist, then that's the y values, so the same y values. But in this case, we said the y value of the left-hand side is 0. The y value from the right-hand side is 1. So at the limit, as x approaches to positive 1, the limit does not exist. What about part D? The limit as x approaches to 3. And it's 3 by itself. It doesn't have a 3 plus or 3 minus. So at 3 right here, we have to do this mentally by ourselves if it doesn't give us a plus and a minus set up before. So here we are. The left-hand side of 3. Left-hand side is this guy right here. So I'm approaching, 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 and the y value is 2. The right-hand side of 3. I'm approaching, 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 and the y value is 2. So at the limit, right, as x approaches to 3, the y value is 2. The limit exists at 2 in this place because the left-hand side and the right-hand side both approach at the same number right here. Again, let me address that one again. The left-hand side and the right-hand side, the y values are different. 
So the limit does not exist at 1 right here. Okay? Let's try more examples. The limit as x approaches the 2 from the left-hand side. So left-hand side of this 2 would have to be this function right here, right? So here we are again, approaching, approaching, approaching the 2 on the left-hand side, and the y value is 1. What about the limit as x approaches the 2 from the right-hand side? Right-hand side of 2 would have to be this function. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because some of you guys are going to try to read going this direction, but you're going the wrong direction because it says approaching to 2. So from here, this graph right here, I'm approaching, approaching, approaching to the x value 2, and the y value is 1, right? So the limit at x equals 2 is going to be 1 because both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, both the y values, right, approach at the same number. Now, some of you guys are going to get thrown off and say, but what about this dot right here? How come we didn't use that? That's different. When we do the limits, we do the left-hand side and the right-hand side. To read this dot, we're going to use, it's called a function. So if you remember from pre-calculus and also in Algebra 2, when you had f of something number right inside the parentheses equals, and then you had an equation, you would normally substitute this number into all the x's and you get a y value. Well, same idea with this one right here. At 2, I need a solid number. So here we are at 2. I'm going to go up to the graph. This is like the piecewise idea. So I'm going to take this graph, I'm going to read it and go through and say, wait, do I have a solid number yet? And you have an open circle right here. So if you have an open circle, you're going to go through that graph and you're going to say, nope, I don't have a solid number yet, right, or a solid point. And in this case, it gets to, at that dot right there, at 2, y equals 2 right there, that is the solid point. So at f of 2, the y value is 2, which is totally different from the limit because the limit was reading from the left-hand side, right-hand side. That's the limit. When you ask it, about the function, then you're looking for a solid point at this, okay? So let's go back and actually use the other example, which was, I believe, at 1. <clears throat> so same thing with 1. We did the left-hand side of 1, which was 0, the y, y value of that. The right-hand side of 1, we said was 1, but the limit did not exist in this case because right here, both the y's were different. But what if I asked you to find the f of 1 instead? The f of 1? So if we find the f of 1, we do the same thing. At 1, you want to get to a solid point. So in this case, this is an open circle. So I go through this function right here, and I go till I find a solid point, which is right here at 1. So at f of 1, and it equals to 1, which is totally different from the limit. So go back and now and practice on the limit and also the function. So let's go ahead and try the homework assignment. Contestants, find the limit of this equation. Calling somebody else fat won't make you any skinnier. Calling someone stupid doesn't make you any smarter. And ruining Regina George's life definitely didn't make me any happier. All you can do in life is try to solve the problem in front of you. The limit is negative one. Oh crap, I lost. That answer is incorrect. Now we are in a sudden death. If Miss Heron can answer this problem correctly, we have a winner. Limits. Why couldn't I remember anything about limits? Limits. That was the week Aaron got his hair cut. Oh god, he looks so cute. Okay, focus, Katie. What was on the board behind Aaron's head? If the limit never approaches anything, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! Our new state champions, the North Shore Mathletes. Yeah!